continuing on with our series hard truths about homesteading today's video focuses on the weather uh, so in our last video we discussed how we just don't have enough time when we're homesteading that some jobs get put off and that they sometimes create more work because of unforeseen things that creep up uh, so the black raspberries we talked about last time not getting them pruned out uh, that we're going to do it later and then that the elm tree that we never got around to cutting falling down and making the job harder uh, today's hard truth is sometimes when you have the time the weather just isn't cooperative uh, so we have one of these days where it's just cloudy overcast it's fairly warm uh, it's got to be pushing near 50 which for where we're located is pretty nice uh, but it's it's one of those kind of showery days uh, it's not really much rain to speak of just enough to make it unpleasant now for the job we're doing today of finishing up pruning and cutting up this elm this is actually it's not too bad uh, I'd rather not work in the rain I really don't want to get this chainsaw wet uh, but it's not raining enough where I'm getting wet so I figure the chainsaw is safe but there's some jobs that when you do have the time the weather might not cooperate uh, you might be ready to to get your transplants in and you know you might have had a lot of rain and the soil just isn't in the right conditions to plant or you got the time or you've taken the time to to work your ground or cut your hay and you find that you know the, the weather coming up doesn't cooperate uh, maybe you're ready to drop your hay and then you know the next several days it's it rains or, or it's forecasted to rain same with working your ground uh, you start working your ground and next thing you know it's raining on you uh, so today's hard truth is uh, the weather it, we don't really always realize before you're homesteading or farming just how dependent what you do is on the weather in our modern lifestyles uh, we don't think about the weather unless maybe there's a bad snowstorm or rainstorm and we lose power uh, but when you're when you're doing anything with agriculture uh, the weather becomes vitally important and a lot of what you want to do is dependent on the conditions the weather creates so we can we can get these pruned out now with the weather conditions and we're going to saw up this elm first uh, but just keep that in mind uh, when you plan to homestead or when you are homesteading that uh, you know your day off if you're working another job and what you plan to accomplish might not be accomplishable uh, the weather conditions might not allow it now the nice thing about homesteading is that there's always another job to do so you'll probably have some sort of work you can do it just might not be what you have planned and this this can make it really difficult if if your homestead is is how you're trying to support support yourself um, you know if you can't you can't get your crops in on time or you, you can't get your crops in at all it can really devastate your income and if you're not homesteading full-time and you know you're working a job and you're working nights or weekends um, once again the weather can be extremely difficult to work around um, it might completely throw off your year you know a couple bad days or weeks in the beginning of the season you know it's got got a, a long tail to wag so to speak you know it comes around eventually uh, but it might take the dog with it so today's hard truth is you know what you plan to do homesteading is condi conditional on the weather it's just no other way to put it just the weather might not always cooperate with you so as long as the weather is holding out on us we're going to see if we can get the rest of this elm sawed up out of the honeyberries out of the black raspberries and we'll stop rambling thanks for watching